a change. A change. She needs like 80, but it's fine. She got a change. One that's not even relevant, but at the same time, like, uh, it does it does change her enough to where you know so a lot of the bayos who are leaving or looking at different characters are at least putting a little bit of time into her to see what she can do now and what changed. Uh, also, Bayo can do stuff like this, which is just a lot of early percent. Um, she still struggles in the whole killing thing, besides just fishing for back air and edge guarding. But you can do some really sick stuff. But uh, Inkling, again, one of those characters, kind of like Bayo, does low percent combos to mid percent is really, really good. But he has a way to find kills a little bit easier. That roller is large and in charge. Yeah, that roller is pretty dangerous, and like I was telling uh, Tom earlier, you know, you might miss that roller four or five times, but that sixth time is all that matters. Honestly, and he's, he's so fast with the two. He's just running at you, and he pushes you on your shield, so you have to, like, you're always in a bad position anyways. But, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Right there, Namor, though, and we're getting up B combo, so a lot of the time you don't want to start combos with up B. Around this percent, it's not bad because of, like, what we just saw there with him going off towards the side, and, uh, yeah. That's, that's not gonna work. So if he did, so Bayo's weird in this game. In the last game, uh, in Smash 4, you pretty much always want to do a jump before up B. That way you got the triple jump. In this game, uh, whenever you do the side B, up B, side B, up B combo, you want to jump uh, before the second side B. So you lose your triple jump, but it's because jump up B doesn't connect the same. So it's really, it's like not as good now. So that, that combo probably would have come off the top, but Nanwar missed the jump before the second side B. But, I mean, he's not out of kill in the end, so it's okay. Yeah, you still get a lot of percent, and he's only got 42 on himself right now, so he's definitely well within striking distance. Yeah. That's one witch twist. One yeah. down tilt. One uh, fair chain right there is a song. The Inkling is, so Inkling's really, really weird because their dash is, they're just literally going into the ground and bouncing back up every once in a while. It's super sick. He's a really cool character, but that's definitely like one of the things that you gotta be careful of because they're so hard to hit out of their dash a lot of the times because of that animation. I, um, I completely agree. Like, oh, he's just, he's just swimming around. But this should not quite do it. That was a really good dash. Get out of there, yeah. Is that up the wish twist, get him out of the bad position. Definitely not bad. Oof. That's another thing you gotta be careful on Smash with Bayo, is that if you do up B beneath the ledge, uh, or beneath the uh, the platform, you're not able to follow up with anything out of that because it auto lands you on the platform. It's like the perfect distance to where no matter what you do, you can mash side B or jump up B as hard as you want. You will land on that platform if you do just up B from the ground. Now if you do like a small jump first, then you know, you'll be fine, but really great to hit combos with that. Because then you have to hit him with like the bottom part of your hitbox, it's just bad. I don't know. So you would think this is a bad stage for Bayo, but like some Bayos like it. Like Nanwar is a really big advocate for Smash World being one of her better stages. And then I was talking to Lima, and Lima's like, no, this stage sucks. And I'm like, oh, okay. But Nanwar's like, no, Lima's dumb. And this stage is really good. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it does just come down to personal preference. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of it. Yeah. Honestly, like Bayo struggles on. Kalos and FD, and today we don't worry about Kalos, so her like one really really bad stage is FD, so it's fine. Like she's just big chillin' today, I don't know. Bale's in a really good spot today. Alright, we got another big combo here, mm -hmm. getting some more extra percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, being that at 150, Rage isn't as big as it was in Smash 4, wow, that's gonna come from beneath the stage, it makes sense, but still that's crazy. So Rage isn't as big as it was in Smash 4, right? But it still exists to a, a degree, much smaller degree, but it exists to a degree to the point where doing the zero to uh, like 45 or 60 percent combo that Bayo can get at literally zero, um, it's pretty hard to get when she's at 150 because that Rage does knock them out of it sometimes, as we saw there. But Roller not going to lead into anything there for Burr. Nanwar getting out of it a little bit too quick for him. Nanwar is very good at Mario Party, I assume. Yeah, yeah as the quickest matches to get out of those situations and when Burr hits those uh, rollers like right now. But that's but gonna do it anyways, yeah. Yeah, when you're standing right next to him, there's not much you could do. Yeah, so roller's weird to, yeah, I think uh, you cancel out of roller by jumping, right? So, uh, Burr for most of that first game, he was going way past, he was rolling and then the jump wouldn't cancel out of it until he was a little bit too far away to run back. But at that time he was able to get it, the timing just right to where he ended right after he hit him. And that's how smashed him. It was pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, that was just really good positioning mm -hmm. uh, by Nanwar on his part. And we've got a uh, third controller. Boot that out. That's so epic. We <laughs> love pro controllers. 
All right, so is Nanor going to stay Bayo? Do you think he's going to pick out one of his pockets? Um, we're probably going to see Bayo. Oh, I think I heard Bayo, so maybe, yeah. I, maybe that was my own spoiler alert. But I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised for Bayo. Um, but at the same time, this Pikachu has been something he's been putting a lot of time in, so... If we get to a game three, I wouldn't be super surprised to see a swap depending on the stage. I think that's a lot of it, is like, he'll probably go Bayo at least through game two, right? And then, right. depending on where his opponent counterpicks him, he may swap to the Pikachu. Um, I mean, if they take him to a bad Bayo stage, he's like, I may as well bust out the Pikachu, right? Yeah, and that first game wasn't, you know, a big disparity, so yeah, yeah. it was it definitely was. a winnable game for him. That yeah. was a very weird trade. But yeah. it wasn't even a trade, he just got beat out. Yeah. You know, Inkling's really interesting in this game. I mean, right now we're seeing just pretty much this domination here by Burn. Nanlar's got to find a way to start getting these percents, but yeah, that air dodge is not what you want. That's going to be basically a free stock there from Burn. He has 24%, so not quite a zero to death, but just about as close as you can be. But here we go. Oh. Very. The custom combo. Yeah. That combo's so sick. I, like, mess it up a lot, but whenever I do get on, I'm like, oh my god, it's so cool. So I was I was on uh, Twitter the other day and I saw a new Bayo combo that Insom found, and you do D A B K and then uh, the downward uh, angled afterburner kick, and then you land on. So if I'm on the right side of you after the first A B K, I'm on your left, and you do it again, and you hit him up, and then you double witch twist them, and then I think just forward or take him off the top at like zero on battlefield or something. I think I can't remember what stage it was, but I was like, that's disgusting. That sounds like a really tough DI mix-up too. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm like, this is this is actually dumb. Like, this should not be in the game. <laughs> like, I don't want this. <laughs> I play Bay when I don't want this. This is stupid. The really, really uh, oh. solid attempt at the edge guard there, but just didn't get that second forward there. Ooh, man, I'm looking for that DABK. Not gonna quite find it though. Gonna get the grab up throw. Not gonna lead into too much. Just you know, gets the air dodge. And that's pretty much what, like the best case scenario. So you can punch the air dodge after that. Order is not gonna take it. He's not gonna die. No. Nope. Getting a really good mash. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Bale struggles to kill besides of that back air. So we see Nanwar throw like four of those, and it's it's a really safe move. So it's definitely one you can throw out. But uh. Let's get real though, Nanwar brought it all the way back. I mean, Burr had basically just a home run first stock, and uh, now he's at 145 on his second, so Nanwar's kept it really, really close and brought it all the way back considering. I agree, um, and if he can get this stock off without taking too much more damage, unfortunately he couldn't quite seal it there, but this game is virtually tied. Yeah, because I'm not gonna quite do it, that one will. One confirm for uh, Nanwar will lead into a tied game. Yeah. This is about me. Now he's at 54%, uh, but here's a bail combo that can do it unless they get out of it. Um, yeah, so. Uh, wow, this is going to be a big one. Going to even up percents. Not quite, but getting close enough to where it's basically even. But I mean, Roller's going to do the trick right there. Yeah. Duo going to Burr's favor. Yeah, Burr had some really good DI to get out of that Witch Twist combo, and then the Roller to punish on the landing. Yeah. And that was it. Pretty much all you gotta do. Oh, you Bayo sucks. No, she doesn't. She's like, all right, I don't know. I don't know, she's weird. Her stuff like doesn't connect the way it's supposed to. Like, okay, so when he got the Witch time and he went for the up tilt, uh, Bayo's up tilt has like, I think two or three different hitboxes, and they can send them in different directions. And it's like very percent based too. So like early percents for up tilt more sends them up. But we saw when Burr was at like 150 and he got wish time to up tilt it, it sent him backwards. So then if that happens, you I think you have to double jump back air for it to connect with it just about anything. I had to do either full hop or maybe like double jump something. But yeah, it's like really weird because like her up tilt oh, it shouldn't be percent based on where they knock you, you know. But whatever, it's fine.